So this is just a solar lentigo. With practice, it's an easy diagnosis to make on H&E. Ooh, a little bonus, too. Very subtle. I don't know if we can get, get it to pick up, but see that pink stuff right there in the papillary dermis? That pink stuff with little cracks in it is keratin-derived amyloid. It's the stuff that we see in the diseases called macular amyloid and lichen amyloid. It is not related to systemic amyloid or light chains or myeloma or anything like that. Not related. It is just pigment. I mean, I'm sorry. It's just keratin and other proteins that have fallen out of the epidermis and kind of congealed together in the papillary dermis. And you can see it in macular and lichen amyloid, but you can also see it in association with seborrheic keratosis or occasionally, I guess, lentigo, basal cell carcinoma, a wide variety of epithelial lesions. What's that pink stuff? Amyloid. It's amyloid. And it's keratin amyloid. Anytime the amyloid's like right around an epithelial tumor, be it a basal, be it a seb, be it a pincus or trichoblastoma, anything, that is keratin derived from epithelial cells that have dropped out keratin. And one of the clues, it's pink and it's smudgy, like amylo like just like light chain amyloid would be. It will stain with, uh, I don't know, Congo is is iffy to me. I, the books, I think, say it's positive, but I've I've not, I find Congo hard to interpret sometimes, but thioflavin T beautifully lights this stuff up. You have to have polarized, I'm sorry, a direct immunofluorescence, um, uh, an immunofluorescence microscope to be able to read it, but it's quite beautiful. It turns bright green. So the thing to me is that it looks like amyloid, but it's right next to the epithelial stuff trapped around the tumor, or in the case of macular amyloid or lichen amyloid, it's in the papillary dermis. And then also in the cracks, it often has pigment. And that's because as the cells that the epithelial cells break down and smash together, it's kind of almost like cytoid bodies that are getting all packed together. That's the way I kind of think of it. And as that process happens, the melanin pigment that was contained in those cells, because look, basal cells and sebs and sometimes trichoblastomas and trichoaps, they, they often have pigment in them, melanin pigment from kind of passenger melanocytes that are colonizing them. So that pigment drops out too, and the pigment gets trapped up in between the pink. So, so pink amyloid that has melanin, brown melanin pigment in the crack spaces, and that the amyloid is right next to epithelium. Usually that's going to be keratin-derived amyloid, which is totally unrelated to light chains or myeloma or systemic you know, amyloidosis or any of that. So that's important. So when I see that, I actually just point it out to the residents, and then I don't even mention it in my report because otherwise it's going to cause angst to someone who may not know and sees the word amyloid and amyloidosis, systemic amyloidosis is very serious, you know, condition. So um, that's important to know that keratin amyloids are unrelated to those. Beautiful example.